Oh, hello. No. Oh. Sorry, I, uh, I almost dropped my headphones and I actually made that sound. I'm sorry. Hey guys, yes, I got a new shirt. Oh. And welcome to my third video, which I am so excited to do. And I'll tell you why, because it's a video that I've wanted to do for a long time. Actually, before I even started this channel, I thought I want to do a video like this. And that's today's video. And it is a life hacks video. What is that? <laughs> So we're gonna talk about my 10 favorite life hacks or things that I do to make my life more interesting. I promise they're good. It's not just some recycled Buzzfeed article. And if you do them, you might just love them. And let's just get into the hacks right now, okay? Hack number one, free coffee. Or maybe more appropriately, free-ish coffee. Mm. So what I do is at Starbucks, and anyone can do this, I am so damn excited to tell you this. If you go in and order a nice coffee, you can get free coffee all day. And a lot of people don't know about this, and I hate that. But I am practically made of caffeine. There is just caffeine coursing through my veins. There's no blood. So this tip is really important to me. So here's how you do it. If you get your Starbucks rewards card or whatever, which is free, by the way, to get, you can get free refills on coffee all day. And I do this literally every day. So here's the drill. You go get a nice coffee, you drink it, and then you run out, and then and you say, can I get a refill? You swipe your little damn card and then they just refill it for free, free 99. So that's the hack. Literally, you could drink coffee all day. I think the only rule is like, as long as you don't leave the premises or something. So look, in theory, and I'm not suggesting this because it's a little unethical, but if you wanted to, as long as you stayed on the premises, you could keep on getting refills of coffee and then like, you could take them to your car and like pour them in jugs or something and have coffee for the month. I don't know who would be desperate enough to do that. <laughs> All oh, right, I'm that desperate. Hack number two, backpack security. So I do this probably, I do this one probably about every other day or at least any time that I'm at a coffee shop or something. I always have a backpack on me and I always have a lot of expensive stuff in it. So basically whenever you're sitting around with your backpack, don't just leave it on the freaking chair next to you or like on the table. If you get up for one second to talk to a friend, go to the bathroom, someone could snatch it. And I don't mean to sound like overly paranoid or anything, but that's a reality is that someone in one quick second can make off with all of your shit. You do not want that to happen, especially if you're carrying important stuff in there. Like in my case, I carry lots of important stuff in my backpack, hard drives, notebooks, my headphones, Phone, laptop, cell phone, about three pounds of Sour Patch Kids, and Bullwhip, Creepy Doll, comic books, the stuff you don't want to get stolen. So here's what you do. You just take the strap of your backpack and put it under the leg of the chair you're sitting on or under the leg of the table that you're at, whatever. Just put it under something so no one can snatch it away from you. And then that way you can just sit and you can just do your thing in a coffee shop with peace of mind. Hack number three, digitize your sentiment. There's so much shit that we want to keep. And if we kept it all, we would end up becoming like something off of hoarders. And that's not pretty. Anything that you see and go, oh, I want to keep that for my whole life. Here's the thing. You're not going to keep it for your whole life. You're going to move around a lot in college, in your 20s, whatever. Stuff's going to get left behind, forgotten. So here's a really good tip to get rid of all that stuff and to get rid of the guilt of like throwing away sweet cards from your grandma and stuff. Digitize your sentiment. Just take photos of all this stuff and save it in an album on your computer or something because when you're like 80, you'll be so glad you did this. It's still sentimental. It's better than just throwing it away. And it's what I do and I love it. I can still look back on stuff from like junior high. T-shirts from like field day festival wristbands or like precious movie tickets or bracelets that I made in high school and just all this stuff. Like I scanned it all in a scanner and threw it into an album called Sentiment. And it's great because like now that I'm well into my 20s, I can look back at stuff from high school. Like I scanned like I even took pictures of like old backpacks I had and stuff that like friends wrote on and it's so cool because I can be like, oh, that was cool. I remember that Phil Day or I remember like that card from mom or stepmom or dad or whatever. And it works for me. So I think everyone should scan everything that's sentimental to them. Don't just throw it out, you know, capture it first. And even if you're not a sentimental person and you don't care about capturing stuff, then I'm telling you, take a picture of it anyways, because it, you will appreciate it later in life. I promise. And start doing it right now, no matter how old you are, if you're one and if you're one, how did you even get to a computer or if you're not I don't think anyone over 91 is watching my video, but if you are, bless you. Hack number four, unisex man purse. Uh, this one's so fun and easy, it should be illegal. As a guy, I don't have a purse. I get it, guys can carry purses, that's fine, but I just don't. Women are really lucky because they get to carry around purses everywhere they go. Sometimes they don't, sometimes it's like an outdoor activity. And then in that case, this hack is for you as well. I'm always stuck in the predicament of having my wallet, my keys, and also my phone. And I don't wanna put them in my pocket because it makes my pockets look big and bulgy and stupid, but I don't have to worry about carrying around stupid stuff in my pocket when I'm wearing a hat. Because when you're wearing a hat, you're wearing a unisex purse on your head. That's right, this tip is all about putting 
putting your stuff in your hat. I know that sounds dumb, but I think a lot of people don't know about this, and I'm just trying to save everyone's pants and pockets from looking stupid. So your keys and your wallet and your phone can go inside of your hat. And then, and this is important, you gotta pay attention to this next part. You just hold it here, and then it's got like this built-in handle there, and then you can just walk around. And look, we all know this is called a clutch. Basically, I'm gonna get every man in America to look like they're carrying around cute little clutches. It looks like hats are made for this. Do you understand? Look, it even works with stupid hats. I know what you're thinking. Surely it doesn't work with American flag hats. You're wrong, man. Look, you can do it with any hat. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It has a freaking handle built in. Do you understand how crazy that is? And you could just carry around your stuff in here. Ah. Uh, hack number five, two Chipotle burritos for the price of one. <laughs> So here's what you do. You just order a big burrito bowl. What that is, is a big tinfoil container, as you know, I'm sure, of just everything that goes into a burrito. Maybe I don't have to tell you how heavy you can get that thing. It's crazy. If you ask them to like build it from the edges as opposed to all in the middle, that thing can be like probably about 16 tons. So you can ask for a full size flour tortilla on the side and they'll give you one. And since they can double wrap burritos for free as well, they'll probably give you two if you ask nicely. Worst case scenario, I think tortillas are like 50 cents or something, so whatever. But here's the thing. You get a big ass burrito bowl and you get two tortillas and you also get and these sides are free you can get a side of pinto beans a side of mild and a side of like sour cream you can get lots of sides for free the only things they charge you for are guacamole sides and extra meat sides so basically what I'm saying is you can get a big ass burrito bowl and then plenty of sides you can get so much food and then you make two burritos yourself two massive burritos, and they are big by the way. Now look, you can be self-respecting and take your 13,000 pounds of Chipotle home and make your two burritos for the price of one, or you can just do it right in the middle of Chipotle. In my case, I just did it in Chipotle and looked like a freaking maniac. And then you have two burritos. You can share one with a friend, eat it later, or you can give it to a homeless person like I did, uh, and then immediately go back and ask for it back. And that's fine as long as you delicately explain to him like, hey man, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was still kind of hungry. Um, I regret my choice, you know, take it back and then run away. Hack number six, entertain telemarketers. Okay, this one I'm just gonna get out there real quick. I've always done it since I was a kid. When people call my phone like unsolicited, like a telemarketer, <laughs> I sing to them. Sing to them until they hang up. Here's why. It's fun. Okay. I worked as a telemarketer for like three days when I was 17. The worst choice ever. Oh man, that was very painful. But if someone would have started singing to me while I was on the phone, I would have loved it because I would have been doing my job because the phone was to my ear and I would have gotten to just hear someone sing as opposed to just hanging up on me. Don't just hang up on telemarketers. That's a bore. Go full Tori Kelly on their asses. Pack number seven, this one's cake and it'll give you fun, resources, it'll be so convenient. Always carry a little flash drive on your keychain. Why? Here's my number one reason, which is a little bit peculiar. I love sharing music with people. I love making people CDs, mixtapes, mixes, whatever. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's so much fun. And this little guy makes it possible. And I keep all my favorite albums on this. Probably like 20 albums on this that I think are like my favorite albums of all time. Obviously it's a great resource too for like school. I keep a few things on there. My scan driver's license. I got my resume on there. It's just a good idea to always keep your digital resources on you at all times. I love this little guy. I'll put the link to this particular one in the description below. Hack right, number eight. This one might seem kind of weird. Nature shaving. I shave outside. I wake up in the mornings and I take this mirror that I have in my apartment and I take it outside and I set it up and I shave outside. It's nice. Here's why. The sunshine's hitting your face. It's like a cool, open air thing to do. I don't know what that means. Um, and the hair follicles, you get to fertilize the soil, which by the way, that's real. Hair follicles, fertilize soil. I didn't make that up. I take my mirror, I set it up outside of my apartment against this, against this window of this old Catholic woman. And um, I just shave my face. I just go to town. I have a nice time outside. It's just a few peaceful minutes in my day. And I look crazy to passerbys and the Catholic woman in her apartment sometimes catches me and probably doesn't love it but you know I shave outside it's a fun thing to do if you're a guy obviously do this if you're a brave girl you can shave your legs outside I don't know what that means or if you're a girl with a beard you can do this we're all gonna die take it or leave it I like to shave outside I think it's fun hack number nine carry around a headphone splitter <laughs> It is so much fun to share music with people. Be it making a sleepover at a friend's house more interesting. Um, sharing music with a stranger on a plane. Listen to music with people. It's so much fun. I'm not just talking about like listening to similar music at the same time. No, listen to the exact same song at the exact same time. It's so fun just to feel music with a friend. And maybe even always carry around a little spare pair of headphones as well. In your purse, in your backpack, whatever. These little Apple ones will do just fine um, because sometimes people don't have their own headphones. I'll put the link to this one in the description below. It's cheap, it's fun, it's awesome. Carry this around. Hack number 10, okay. This is one of my favorite ones on the list. Hack number 10, concert in a car. 
I love this so much. I just discovered it about three months ago um, when this album came out that I was waiting for years for, James Blake's The Color in Anything. I wanted to listen to it in the car because the bass would hit really hard and I wanted to like feel it, right? But I also wanted to hear it really well because the production on this album was like really good. But I knew that I couldn't have my cake and eat it too because if I just listen to it on headphones, I'm not going to feel the bass. If I listen to it in my car with all the bass, I'm not going to hear like the amazing sound quality. Oh, I thought of the coolest thing. Here's what you do, you guys. If your car has an auxiliary port, which most do. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, you plug this bad boy into your iPhone, which has the music on it, and then you plug the auxiliary cord from the car into here, and then you plug your freaking headphones into here, and do you see where I'm going with this? Once you do that and play your music, you turn up the damn volume, and it's amazing, it's loud, and the bass is shaking your body, but maybe the sound's not so great, and then you put on your freaking headphones, and then you're hearing, like, the beautiful audiophile quality music, but you're feeling the bass in your car. I can't tell you how many hours I have spent doing this since I thought of this little trick. So many hours in my car just listening to amazing music. Obviously it works best with like hip-hop, electronic music, anything that's bass heavy, but I just love zoning out to music in my car and this has changed the game! And apparently, by the way, my car doesn't like retain sound that well. So I hear a lot of my neighbors complaining about some guy who listens to music really loud at night. It's me! Sorry about it. I hope my neighbors aren't watching this. They might be. Shit. Sorry, Paul. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe here because there's gonna be new videos. This is kind of high, sorry. Subscribe here because uh, there's gonna be new videos every Thursday. Any dumb life hacks or things that you do to make your life better, let me know just one in the comments below, okay? And I'll talk about those in next week's video. In my last video, by the way, I asked some of you guys to tell me a dumb fact about yourself because my last video was called 10 Dumb Facts About Me. If you haven't seen it yet, watch it. So some of the dumb facts that you guys told me about yourselves in the comments were Incredible. So I'm just gonna read a few of those um, real quick. By the way, you can't see, but there's a computer here. It's a secret computer. Let me just go into my files here and find them. Olivia Versailles, is that how you say it? Had this to say, I'm 16 and I still don't know how to divide fractions. Great, I'm 27 and I don't know how to divide fractions. Welcome to my life as a teenage misfit. Had this to say, I once ate an Oreo off the ground because my friend said I would turn into a Twitch. You know, from that really old Disney Channel movie, please help. I haven't seen Twitch myself, but I Googled it. Let's just say I'm highly interested now. They're not just sisters, they're Twitch. Witches. Twin witches! Lily Wright said a weird fact about me is that, <laughs> that the first three years of my life I was afraid of grass. I get it. Especially if it's that grass from Aeon Flux. Do you remember that? Does anyone remember that? No one probably does, and with good reason. <laughs> Lily, maybe that's why you're afraid of grass. Maybe you saw Aeon Flux when you were a kid and you were like, I'm not, I'm out. I don't want my grass to just go shh. That's what the grass did in Aeon Flux, trust me. <laughs> As is Terry Skirikiretti, sorry, said, I want to say 18 Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell in one sitting. Look, here's the thing. I'm proud of you if you did, but did you? Jessica X, I'm not sure that I believe in outer space. I don't know what to tell you. It's real. Francesca Barbie, I can't get off Pokemon Go. Neither can everyone. And I'm very afraid that we're gonna read a headline soon about someone walking out in the middle of the street trying to catch like a Pokemon and getting hit by a uh, vehicle. I found it! Please don't let that happen, America. David Enos, Garrett say hi. Hi. Maddie Ogle, Ogle? I love the smell of ice. What? Oh, she's right. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so guys, those are so fun. Thank you guys so much for engaging, leaving comments. The more that I know about you, the better. So please, I freaking love comments, and I read as many as I possibly can, and I'm going to respond to as many as I possibly can as well. So thank you. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye. This one I made when I was in junior high and I got suspended because um, they said that I tried to make a weapon. Like a shit, like a knife or something. That's bullshit. It was like a woodworking class. <laughs> And I, I like made a wand because what else would I make in woodworking class? That was so rude. Like, I was just trying to be sweet. I'm still bitter about that stately junior high.